Hey guys, welcome to the Social Proof System. I'm Bill, and today I'm gonna walk you through some advanced proof source features so you can get the most of your Social Proof notifications and become a proof source power user. Here's what we're gonna cover. I'm gonna walk you through setting up your stream notifications, showcasing recent activities that are happening on your website. I'm gonna show you how to auto capture form submissions from forms you already have on your website, how to display notifications on specific pages only, how to set up your conversion goals so that you're aware that ProofSource is actually working to increase your conversion rates. And lastly, how to send custom events to ProofSource via Zapier so that you can track any activity that's happening in your business. Things like new MailChimp subscribers, custom form submissions, new sales on your CRM, and display that as social proof notifications so that you can actually increase your conversion rate. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is log into ProofSource, create a new notification, and select stream as the notification type. If you're in a platform like Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Magento, etc., that we natively support, that's awesome. Simply select that and ProofSource automatically tracks things like purchases that happens on your platform and allows you to showcase that as a notification. If you have forms on your website, maybe it's a sign-up form for your SaaS business, maybe it's a lead generation form or anything else, and you wanna track people who submit the form and become leads for your business, you can simply do that by selecting form submissions as an event tracking type. Now, besides that, you can also select which forms on your website you are actually tracking the data from. So this here gives you the ability to select either all pages if you want to capture data from all the forms on your website. Simple matching, meaning that you can simply paste URLs here from specific pages where you have the forms that you want ProofSource to track. Contains, which you can include parts of the URL and ProofSource is going to match that and capture form submissions from these URLs and regular expressions, which are some more custom ways uh, to actually showcase to prove source which pages you wanna track. Now, once you do that and select form submissions, and of course have defined where to track your form submissions on your website. In my case, I selected all pages because I only have one form on my website. You can simply select next and follow the rest of the guide to set up your social proof notification. Now, how do we, how do we make sure that ProofSource is actually able to track the form on our website. The two things that you need to do and you need to have in mind is that ProofSource needs to identify an email field. So your form needs to include at least an email. And you also need ProofSource installed on the page where you actually want the form to be tracked. Now, besides that, after you have selected and created your social proof notification and of course saved it, ProofSource gives you actually the way to identify that your form has been correctly submitted. What you wanna do, is open an incognito tab or a new private browser, simply submit your form, and then go back inside ProofSource and check your feed. So in your feed here, ProofSource is actually showing you all the events that have taken place on your website. And in our case, of course, we're looking for things like form submissions. And here, of course, you're gonna see the people who have submit submitted your form, where in the world they submitted the form form from, and of course, any additional details that might have been included alongside the form submission. And this allows you, of course, to see if proofs proof has tracked your notification. If you can see your data here, this means that all is good and you can actually use the data here to showcase the people who sign up on your forms as social proof notification. And that's perfect. And we have our first item done already. How do we display our notifications on specific pages? You're gonna notice here that ProofSource actually includes a lot of different settings to do that. And it's, of course, the third step right after we specify what event to track. Now, ProofSource has four different ways for us to showcase and let it know where on our website we want our notification to show up. The first one and the easiest one to use, of course, is a simple version where you simply select a few of the URLs of your website. ProofSource might also automatically recommend some of the URLs here. You can simply add as many URLs as you want and that's it. Your notifications are gonna showcase on these URLs. Now, if this is not enough, you can always use the contains option. What this means here is that you can identify a specific part of your URL. Maybe all your URLs include the word product or products or services. You can type it in here. So from now on, every URL that includes the word services is gonna have notifications show up there. There's also the custom option for regular expressions. This is a bit more advanced. If you know how to do this, then this is awesome. ProofSource supports this. And there's always, of course, the easy option of all pages. So maybe I wanna showcase the notifications on all pages of my website, but maybe I wanna exclude specific pages like the thank you page or maybe 
the sign up page. So I can do this exactly here in the same way as I can do it up here using the same kind of filters. And maybe if my thank you page contains the word thank you, the slug thank you in the URL, I can simply type it in here, add any more URLs that I want, then hit save, and that's it. This is how you're able to actually set up your social proof notifications and make them show on any page of your website that you actually want. This is really useful because you might not want to showcase a notification on the product page. Maybe you want to have one type of notification show up on your service page, another one on your home page. Maybe you want to showcase reviews and testimonials on the home page. Maybe you don't want notifications on your thank you page. So Proofsource actually gives you complete control over where your notifications are actually showing up. Now, once you have set up your first social proof notification, the next thing you want to do is create a conversion goal so that you can keep track of how much is ProofSource actually helping you increase your conversions and your conversion rate. This is something that's actually really useful to do because it allows you to judge how much is ProofSource actually benefiting your bottom line and your business goal. It's pretty straightforward. Simply select goals and I'm going to walk you through a goal that I have already created and then show you how to create a new one. So. The first thing that a goal includes is how many people actually see our notifications on the way to actually completing the goal. Let's say that our goal is to bring one sale to our e-commerce store. So if somebody buys here, we're going to see how many views, how many people actually saw our social proof notifications before they actually completed the purchase. The next metric that, you know, is important, of course, is the engagement. So people who saw the notifications, how many of them actually hovered over or even clicked on our notifications. This is important because it shows us that our notifications are resonating with people in something that's useful to them and it's actually helpful in the buying process. The next thing is actually how many engagements happen that lead to conversion so that people who actually engage with your notification and then purchase, how many of those are they? Well, this is the metric here. And of course, we have the conversion that happened overall so that you can keep track of conversion that happened versus conversion that happened because of proof source and the conversion series, how many of those conversions that actually happened, happened because people saw a social proof notification. And then of course, lastly, your conversion rate overall so that you know how much your funnel and your website is converting. So how do we create a social proof conversion goal? Simply hit new goal, select the name of your goal. This doesn't have to be anything tricky. If you're selling products and you have an e-commerce store, simply select here Shopify sale or anything else that makes sense. The name just needs to resonate with you. Maybe to form, you can say product lead. Maybe if it's a sign up on your SaaS business, you can say sign up. You want to add the average value of your goal. If you're selling shoes, for example, and the average price for a pair of shoes is $30, you want to add this here. If you're selling a course, which has a fixed price and the price is $250, you want to add it here. If you're selling a SaaS business, you want to add the average revenue per user. Now, besides that, you want to set up your completion URL. What is the completion URL? It's the URL that you redirect people after they have purchased, after they have submitted the form, after they have completed the goal that you need to track. Of course, this means that you must have a specific thank you URL for every different goal that you need to have, that you need to track here. Let's say in our case that this is a URL that we want to track. We have a thank you page and this is it. Simply type it in here, hit create goal and automatically ProofSource starts tracking your conversions that happen on your website, and you can be aware of how much it has actually improved your conversion rate over time. Of course, you can always export the conversions and you can keep track of that on an Excel sheet or an analysis, and you can always check the dates and see, you know, over time, how has your social proof notifications benefited your business or your store or any other kind of business that you're running online. The last thing towards becoming a ProofSource power user is learning how to send custom events to ProofSource, which you can then use on your social proof notifications. Now, what's the usefulness of this? Let's say, for example, that you have sales happening on your CRM and being tracked there, or students signing up on your LMS system, or leads from custom forms that ProofSource can track, including things like your web app, your SaaS application, or anything else that's actually custom or might not even be on your website. Orders from your ERP, bookings from appointment platforms, email newsletters, subscribers, new calendar meetings, whatever else you have in mind or whatever kind of activity takes place in your business that's a significant conversion event that you want to showcase on your website to show how busy and popular your business is. You can actually do that with ProofSource using a technology called Webhooks 
plus Zapier, which is what we're going to go through. Now, to do that, you want to create a new notification. I've already done that. Create a stream notification. And then on the track type, select webhook. Now, there is many different ways to send custom events to proof source. All of these use webhooks. One of them is to use a platform like we're going to use, which is Zapier or Integromat. And another one is to work with a developer and send custom data via webhooks, so no other platform or, or interaction, and then use that data for your notifications. Now, before we proceed, the first thing that you want to do is create your notification, select webhook as the tracking type, go through the rest of the setup, the display, the message settings, customizing it, setting a name, and finally saving your social proof notification. You don't have to activate it just yet. The next step is to, is to jump onto Zapier and actually set up the integration that sends data from our other systems over to ProofSource. Now, Zapier natively integrates with more than 2,000 business applications, from applications for sales to lead generation to marketing. So any application that integrates with Zapier, you can actually send the data already to ProofSource without any kind of technical setup. I have three use cases here. One of them is sending a new MailChimp subscriber over to ProofSource. Another one is sending people, maybe you have a Google Sheet where you're tracking, manually tracking or automatically tracking new signups or new registrations in your business. And every new line can be a new customer. You can actually send that data quite effortlessly over to ProofSource. Another use case, which we're going to go through, is having a type form form, which is external forms. You can maybe use them for signups, lead generation, event registration, or anything else. So whenever somebody submits the type form form, we're going to create a new event inside ProofSource, and then this event is going to be shown as a social proof notification. Let's go ahead and see how to set up our first notification of that kind. Now, to send over the data, each ZAP consists of at least two steps. The first step is the trigger. The trigger in our case is the conversion event, whether it's a purchase, whether it's a sign up, whether it's lead generation or anything else. And then the next step is the action. In our case, the action is sending that data over to ProofSource. Now, I have created a trigger, which is a new type of form getting filled out. You can go ahead yourself and actually set up the type form trigger here set up the form that you want to track. In my case, it's a quiz I have created. So the leads from this quiz. And then the test trigger, you're actually going to pull data from this form, from people who have actually submitted this form. And then we're going to push that data over to ProofSource so that we can get, then use it in our notification. Now, let's hit continue. And then on the next step, choosing the app here, you're going to select ProofSource. I've already done, done this for you. The action event, of course, is the only one that's available, which is send event. Then hitting continue, connecting your account. If you haven't already done this, you're going to see a blue button here. You're going to click it and then simply log into ProofSource. If you're all already logged into ProofSource, then it's just one click and it's going to connect your account. And then you're going to set up the action. By setting up the action, what we actually mean is deciding how the data from your system, from the trigger, actually get funneled inside ProofSource. So first step is selecting the notification that has webhook as the track event type. Remember earlier that I told you you have to go through a stream notification, select webhook as the tracking type, and then continue with setting up and saving that notification? Well, this is why you need to do this. Unless you have actually created one notification that includes webhook as a tracking type, you're not going to see anything here. So before you jump into Zapier or any other kind of platform, first make sure that you have a notification set up that includes webhook as a tracking type. Once you have that, you're going to see your notification here. Maybe you have more than one notifications. Simply select the one that you want to send the data to. Select it here. And then let's send over the data from our system. Wherever the system is, in our case, this is Typeform. The one thing that you definitely need to send over that's required for your notifications to work is an email address. The email address of the person who subscribed or performed any purchase or conversion action. In my case here, I'm going to pull that data over from Typeform. The next step and the next thing that I can pull is the name of the person who did the conversion. Now, you don't have to add a name and you don't have to add the location or any of the, the additional information that you're going to see here. But the more information about the person who converted and the, per and the product that they purchased or signed up for or became a subscriber of, the more data about that you can include, the more realistic your notifications are going to look and the better your conversion rate is going to be. So. If you don't have the data, it's perfectly fine. But if you have the data 
and you can pull it here. The more data that you have and the more data you send, you send over to proof source, the better your notifications are going to be. So here I'm going to look for the name. I have the name here. And of course, proof source allows you to also pull in location data. This is also quite useful. If you have an IP address, this definitely works. If you have country data, state or city, you can also funnel that here and proof source is going to automatically include it as part of the notification. And of course, the last step is including the name of the product. Now, if you have an e-commerce platform and the first step, your trigger is maybe a purchase from a custom platform. And as part of the data, you also include the product name and the product image and product link. That's perfect. You can set it up here and it can be dynamic. If, for example, you want to send data from a custom form or from your SaaS and your SaaS only has one product, let's say that our product is a training product called Growth Hacking 101 that has a standard image and you can include any URL of an image here. And then, of course, the link, let's say that this is the link of the product. If you have a fixed product and it's just one thing and you want to send data from a custom form, then you can simply add it by hand here. Just type it in as I did and then hit continue once you're done. So what have we done so far? We have set up a trigger, which is a conversion happening on a different system outside of proof source or maybe even our website. And the data from the trigger that we have pulled in, we're sending it over to proof source so that we can actually showcase it as part of a custom notification. So last step is to test the action. You're going to see a button here that says test the action. You can press it. And then you're, you're going to see a sign here sending that an event was sent to proof source about an hour ago or right now when you actually do the test. So the last step is turning on the zap. Once you turn on the zap, this means that Zapier is actually going to actively keep looking for new triggers, new conversions happening, and sending over the data to proof source. Now, to make sure that your connection has worked correctly, besides the message that you're going to see here when setting up your integration, you want to go back to proof source. And as you have guessed it, you want to go to your feed. And of course, any data that you have already sent to proof source via Zapier and webhooks, you're actually going to see it here. So this can give you peace of mind that your integration has actually worked. If you have a form that you're tracking, go ahead and submit it a few times. If you have a sign up happening on your platform or in an LMS or any other platform, go ahead and do that a few times. Doesn't matter what data you pull in, but you're going to see it here. And this actually gives you a peace of mind. And if I click details here, you can see the product name. You can see the link to the product. You can see the image that I've actually set up inside Zapier. So this means that we have completely and successfully created our integration. And then the data are going to showcase as part of our social proof notifications. This allows you to create custom notifications that showcase any kind of data that you want to pull from any kind of system. And this, of course, allows you to maximize the return and the effect of your social proof notifications on your website. Now, that's it for today. As always, if you need any help, you can always reach out to us either via email or through live chat on using Intercom on our website. Hope you have great success with your social proof notifications. Let us know how this works out for you. Peace out and have happy conversions. Bye-bye.